I'm the man of the house now. You know why? Because you're just a fucking child. Your son was my best friend. He was my brother. And he was one hell of a soldier. Everything he did. Work. School. Friendship. He did it 110%. Now, Jeff may not have lived long, but the life he did live, it was full. And it was lived as completely as anyone I have ever met. And I am honored that I was able to be a part of it. I am completely and utterly... Zachary Horowitz. Or Zachary Avery. 227 million dollars he swindled from investors talking about a Netflix deal how sway take a Back to film homage, and we here today talking about Zach Horowitz, aka Zach Avery, who stole two hundred and twenty-seven million dollars from investors, Hollywood producers, uh, where do I start? He had this guy Zach Avery. You know, this this story is frustrating because you have people out here that goes through hell trying to get financing for films that's twenty thousand dollars. You know what I mean? They have to do all type of unnecessary stuff just to get funding for and and this is for production that actually <laughs> is no money, you know. Twenty thousand dollars is not a lot of money for a movie. It, that probably is the cost of like catering for some big films you know food and services but this guy Zach Avery was able to get 227 million dollars from investors to do films on promises to do a return on their investment like 35 to 45 to 50 percent so he's promising people that they're going to get a 50 percent return on their investment something that hasn't been done Unless you're doing a, a super, super, super small budget, like a paranormal activity, Blair Witch, and it yields 400, 500 million off of 60, 70,000 investment. You understand what I'm saying? So, this guy, he was an actor. Um, you know, he was in films with like. Uh, uh, Linda Hamilton, Ray Fiennes. He did uh, Fury with Brad Pitt so I think that might be his biggest film I think he did it like in 2014 15 something like that but it's the film with Brad Pitt um, this guy Zach Avery was actually in it so I guess he assumed that his acting career was going to take off and you know he continued to do a lot of small roles you know he did um What's the film? Last Moment of Clarity. Um, he did another film that he's produced um, that actually made a little money. I think it made, uh, not a little money, I'm sorry, forgive me. It made like six million. So he had the trust from these people in Hollywood or wherever they may be uh, to get this money to do these Netflix, the Netflix films or these productions. But this Dude wasn't doing nothing but running a Ponzi scheme. That's how he, he, you know, he was pretty much acting <laughs> what he pursued to do. You know, he, he was a you know high school athlete. He's from Indiana. Um, played football. He got hurt, you know. So he felt he had to become a star. He was going to be famous one way or the other. So he got into acting. When he realized that he wasn't getting the roles that he, you know, he thought he should be getting or he, sh he wasn't at the point in his career where he thought he should be at, he started doing this Ponzi scheme. And 
getting the people invested into these projects that never got, you know, completed or done. And um, it resulted in $227 million. Now, this guy's going to, you know, you know, he's proven it to, you know, innocent to proven guilty or whatever. Uh, but the thing is, what he's done is he's made it extremely more difficult for up and comers or for smaller people that's, you know, rising uh, to have trust in these bigger investors or these bigger production companies because, you know, their head is going to be on a swivel. They're going to be, they, their guard is going to be up because they're, they're not sure if this person don't have a, a track record of having solid productions, uh, people invested and they have a great return on their investment investment uh, from the film. People ain't going to want to take chances on smaller people because would you want to do that? Would you want to be part of $227 million that's not coming back? You know, this this dude is not going to pay, this is Zach Avery, he's not going to pay these people back for this money he took talking about he's going to get a, a Netflix of the deal. But he was so greedy to have this image. See, that's that's what that's how you know people is not passionate. I'm not saying he wasn't passionate about sports or whatever he did, but for you to lie and tell people that oh it's gonna be this situation and you got a hidden agenda over here, that's bogus. That's not right. That's not cool. Cause there's people out here that's actually the small roles that you was getting, Zach. There's people out here that's actually catching three or four buses to try to get a casting or to be casted in the scene. There's people out here actually is walking, starting off trying to get discovered, doing YouTube videos, IG videos. They're doing everything they can because they're very passionate and they're serious about their craft. But Zachary Horwitz or Zach Avery, one of his his name he want to be called didn't want to be patient he didn't want to grind it out he didn't want to wait and see what was in store for him he wanted to rush the process and for what you probably could have made 227 million from your movies I'm quite sure you could have you was already in the inner workings you just had to keep working on your craft and more doors was going to open for you Zach but he wanted to do a Ponzi scheme. He wanted everybody to think, hey, I'm this guy that can connect the dots. I'm this guy that can plug everything together. I'm this big producer. Film industry got us on a up, up and coming. And here in film, how much we usually highlight positivities. But in this situation, it's, you know, it's negative, definitely. People out of $227 million, it's definitely negative. But I always try to bring positive. I always try to, you know, let you know how I can relate to you and your craft and you, your film journey, career, or whatever uh, path that you're taking. Be patient. How things are right now, today, is not how things are going to be tomorrow. Because you have already planted seeds and put in the work. Those seeds just have to bloom. It just has to manifest. You have to be patient with everything. With everything, because why rush it? Look at this guy, Zach. He wanted to have that lifestyle. That's all he wanted. He didn't want that. He didn't want the the notoriety from for having good work. He didn't want to be known for, oh, this guy's an amazing actor. He wanted to have the lifestyle. He wanted to pull up in the yellow Ferraris with the ugly girls getting out. He wanted to have a big matching parties that everybody come and using you. Ain't putting no money on nothing. But, hey, this is Zach Avery. How he, had, he had a dope, amazing party. Did you see he had goldfish coming out the fountains? jumping into the lake back into the fountain he wanted that and he was right there he was making 
He was in a movie with Brad Pitt. He was in a movie with Brad Pitt. Dude, you was on your way. You got thirsty. And you started scamming people. Talking about you had a Netflix deal. Where's people out here? Me? I'm one of those people that does research every day on how to get a Netflix deal. On how to line myself up with the right people that can connect me with Netflix. But you sitting there, people got their checkbook out. You're in these meetings. And they signing over these millions to projects you ain't even got. You only had you could have you could have came to me. I got projects. We could have worked something out. I ain't want no Ponzi scheme money, but we could have worked something out that we could legit use that money and made projects. Listen, and this is just for my filmmakers. This is actually for anybody, but you know this film homage, so I'm trying to keep it relatable for my filmmakers. Film making is not a sprint. It is a marathon. It's an enjoyable journey. It's going to be pain. It's going to be lessons. It's going to be peaks, valleys. It's going to be a lot of great, amazing things happening. A lot of amazing relationships you build with people. A lot of experiences you have that, that you challenge yourself that you didn't know that you can do. But you have to give it time. Be patient with yourself. But I'm not just saying, hey, write the title to a story and sit down and thinking somebody going to call you Tuesday and say, hey, we about to premiere this. No, you still have to put in the work. That's a no brainer. But if you're thirsty and you want to cut corners and think you can beat the system or if I get connected with this person, I'm OK without putting in any work. No, you're not going to have the same end results that Zach had because he was taking money from people, $227 million to be exact, for projects that didn't exist. Scamming people connected to Netflix. No, you're, you're not going to have the same results, but you're not going to get the results that you intended to get. I'm not saying kill yourself. I'm saying work smart. At the end of the day, when you finish doing whatever it is you do, be proud of what you've done. Don't have no regrets. Know that you put your effort in. And you didn't trick nobody, scheme nobody, take nobody money, hurt nobody, down nobody, step on somebody's toes, step on them to get ahead. I wouldn't do that just yet. Because your ass is mine. We don't do that here. We work hard, keep dreaming, and we make it happen. Film homage. Like, comment, subscribe. And we definitely gonna see you on the next one. We out. Mm -hmm.